What is up guys this is Kiran here welcome back to Tech Kiran YouTube channel as you can see I'm using Redmi Note 8 and I'm using Color OS version V7.3 the latest Color OS version ported ROM available for Redmi Note 8 users which is based on Android version 10 as you can see it's based on Android version 10 which is the latest version and also we have the October security patch it's a ported ROM has little bit of bugs available I'm gonna show you which are the bugs you get there which are the features you get and everything in this video stay tuned for that and make sure to watch this video till the end now let's get started so guys this is color os v7.3 the latest color os version which is available as a port room for redmi note 8 users as you can see i've installed it on my redmi note 8 and if you talk about the things which you have everything like the color os all features from color os are available there like the color os quick settings which is realme ui color os v7 whatever else you want to talk about if you're a realme fan if you are oppo fan you can install this build or if you just want to try out something new ui like things then you can try out this build we have very cool kind of features osi evasion effect screen recording dark mode and eye comfort option clean storage power saving mode a little bit of things are available here and there we also have the realme share option available for you looks interesting this is kind of like samsung's one ui where the brightness lighter looks like the xiaomi and a lot more things we have this default theme which you get here the wallpaper you already saw that and this one is i have just changed the wallpaper this looks better than the previous one we have every app from the realme ui actually it also has an app drawer option available as you can see at the home screen and if you go here we have the widgets wallpapers effects and setting these kind of options as a default launcher you get here and if you go to the settings we have home screen settings include the drawer mode show apps prediction home screen layout icon autofill and little bit of more options swipe down on the home screen you have the option to check out the notification drawer or the global search and i sometimes use the notification drawer this looks better and unique so that's why i sometimes use that other things are kind of same let's talk about the things which you get here as you can see wi-fi in my case is perfectly working here mobile data was working too if you talk about the bluetooth bluetooth is also working including the bluetooth media i have no issues here and there let me show you one more thing as i am already using wi-fi so if i want to turn on my hotspot once you will see wi-fi will be turned off so unfortunately you cannot use hotspot with your wi-fi you need to use mobile data instead of using the Wi-Fi for portable hotspot. This is the thing which you get here. You cannot turn on the hotspot and Wi-Fi at the same time. But yes, these kind of things you can manage if you want to. Camera as you get the Xiaomi's like MIUI 11 camera as pre-installed camera. As you can see, which have the photo mode, 48 megapixel cam option is available here. And these other things perfectly fine here. Talking about the portrait mode, that's also working fine. I didn't got any issues here. Let's talk about the ultra wide right now. Ultra wide is also working here. So there are no issues here and there. We have the short video mode. We have the video mode. Let's talk about the video mode. Yes, everything is fine here. So these are the things which you get here. You have no issues. We also have the slow motion option available here. That's also fine. So almost everything is fine here. Almost bugless camera is available here. Might be a little bit of things which I have missed it, but almost everything is fine here. We have the Oppose Realme file manager and this file manager looks very impressive. We have the cleanup option available here too, where you can go for cleanup and you just need to agree to phone manager. You'll see apps and app data, uninstall apps and everything like that which kind of a cleaner game center the hate app cloud a lot more things oppo's messaging app oppo's dialer pad everything like from oppo looks really impressive and interesting this is also kind of a xiaomi's miui which also has some features and this real miui or color was also has some little bit of features let's take a look at all these features one by one if you go for the notifications and status bar, we have a little bit of options you already know like battery percentage, real time network speed which you can enable if you want to. Notification prompt as a notification count or the icon. So I have chosen the notification account that looks better for me. That's why I've used this one. Display and brightness have a little bit of options. Auto brightness, dark mode also has the eye comfort mode. So if you want to try out this eye comfort mode, which looks really great, you can also enable this one. We have the auto screen off always on display option is available yes you can turn on that will work but i will not suggest you because it will freeze your screen yes i've tried that and my screen was frozen and i 
I got into some problems for that. So don't use always on display at all because that will not work for you. We have the screen color mode as gentle or vivid. So if you want to choose the vivid colors, you can choose the vivid colors. Also, if you want to choose the gentle colors, you can choose that. This one is also perfectly fine here. We have the low brightness, flicker, free eye comfort, screen display. Also, including that we have the edge lighting option available and I've tested it. It's very, very interesting. It's perfectly fine. So no issues in edge lighting also. Home Skin and Lock Skin Magazine, I have already shown you just some time ago, sound and vibration have all the Oppo ringtones and some things like that. Go for the fingerprint, face and password. Unfortunately, no fingerprint and no face lock. Not fingerprint working, not face lock working. You just need to set your lock skin password for that, like the like the pin code or the password, whatever you want to choose. But you cannot use the face lock. You cannot use the fingerprint. Other things have the same Oppo's features. So we're going to not talk about all these features, app management, app cloner and split screen, etc. These were the things I just wanted to share with you. You can install this build if you want to. The link for this build is in the description. Very easy to install. Install it in a custom recovery, format data and reboot. This is all from today's video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.